I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and lots of presents indeed and a wonderful and beautiful new year. As you can see, today we are going to talk about dinosaurs and other prehistoric life. But before that, I want to tell you some great news. I completed my ninth birthday on January 8th. How amazing is that? What I got was so much beautiful presents from my family. And inside the cards, I found some money. Did you know what I did with that? Um, since I was seven years old, I collected all the money from my birthday and then collected and put the money in a special in my um birthday cup um and then I put some money inside and then I kept it secretly without my mum or my family anyone notice I kept it in the book rack so that nobody knows so then after like one month my mum came into room to clean up my book racks so then while she was doing it she found out that i was keeping money for children's cancer hospital so i wrote it on the um cup so after she found it out she was so happy she hugged me so tightly and she gave me then more money so and then after she gave me more money she told it to my sister and my dad and after she told, they all gave me so much money that now after I got that much money, I my mum gave me a um a elephant bag, no piggy bag, <laughs> but um that has so much money now, notes at the bottom and like so much. I'm so happy and it's like you can hear it now, look, so much. <laughs> And also, when I am 21 years old, I would love to donate all the money that was in the piggy bank to the Children's Cancer Hospital. And when I'm even more bigger, I would love to make my own Children's Cancer Hospital so then children can have a healthy life. I also, after like, oh, when I was seven, it, when I, it was like when I was 2018, I um, donated my hair and it was, I was like, first time, so I kind of literally felt scared and after that, I like, I felt so comfortable and then I did, that was my first one and then I donated to the princess, little princess charity and then I did this the second time in 2022. Sorry, that was actually Little Princess Trust. I just got out of that mind. So basically, after that, um, I think now I'm going to just donate my hair now because it's like about to come to here. And then I got um, a certificate also from it. So I'm so happy for that. And also, if you'd like also to donate your own hair, you could also do it. I put, I will put the link below in the description box. So then you can just click the link and then sign in the form and then give it to the Little Princess Trust. And that's what you have to do. Donating my hair because, so then children who has no hair will have hair and they will be happy. And then they will have a more happy life. And also, if you also want to do that, you can do the same to make children also happy. So, I guess now it's that time to go and travel into prehistoric life. So, let's go! On my previous video, I talked about eons and errors. If you don't remember, I'll brush up on it as well. First, let's talk about what was in the Paleozoic era. Stromatolite. Stromatolites might have looked like big boulders, but they're not ordinary rocks. They were one of the oldest fossils, which were formed by microscopic our organisms called blue green algae they like to make their home in very salty water where other animals cannot live or eat the 
them. They can be still found today. Did you know more than 3.4 billion years ago, the blue-green algae began to photosynthesize? This is how more oxygen-breathing animals appeared. This is a slice through a 2.4 billion years old stromatolite. Shows the layers form as the bacteria grew. The Cambrian Explosion After the Precambrian, there was the Cambrian Explosion. It is possible that the increase in the oxygen in the atmosphere may have let animals grow bigger or changes in the DNA may have allowed them to evolve into new shapes. Here you can see some of the wonderful animals that lived at that time. Halosogenia Halosogenia might have looked like worms on spikes, but it had up to 10 pairs of legs and 7 pairs of pointy spikes on its back. Paleontologists think the Halsogenia probably ate by sucking up its food while it was shredded on its way to the stomach. In this fossil, Halsogenia's head can be seen and the straight spikes on its back are above. Australaster Australaster is also called a southern star and it's also found in Australia. This starfish almost looked like as if it could crawl off its rock, but it is around 430 million years old. They look remarkably similar to their relatives today. Moving on to land. Early life on Earth was only found in water. Algae floated in the ocean and fish swam through the rivers and seas. The plants developed a waxy coating to stop them losing water and they grew strong stems to keep them upright. The low fin fish involved slimy coating or scales to stop themselves drying out. Their fins transformed into limbs so they could crawl and run. These are some animals and plants which transformed because of evolution. Ichthyostega. Ichthyostega was one of the first four-legged animal on Earth. It was a bit like a fish and also a bit like an amphibian. It had both gills to breathe underwater and lungs for breathing air. It could swim and crawl on land. How amazing is that? It had stout legs to support its body as it dragged itself between zombie ponds. It had seven toes on its back feet. Those were probably webbed to help it swim. His, its eyes were on top of his head and had good eyesight for hunting. Can you see the seven toes on it? Stegos pedal like back foot? Archaeopteris. Archaeopteris is one of the first trees on earth. How cool is that? They are a link between ferns and trees. They reproduce using tiny spores rather than seeds. They formed in forests, growing in wet grounds close to rivers. This fossil shows a fern-like front of Archaeopteris. Delta blasters swaying gently underwater with feathered fronts on top of a long stalk. You could mistake this creature for a plant. However, it was actually a relative of starfish and sea urchins called blastoid. They had a stem anchoring to the sea floor with the body at the top. It was protected by hard plates and had five grooves arranged in a star shape. Fine hair tentacles stuck out 
from the grooves and trap tiny foot particles in the water. Each one of these Delta Blaster's decor body fossils could easily fit in the palm of your hand. Phew! I think that's enough with the paleo Zykera. Now let's see who lived in the Mesozoikera. I'll see you soon in part two, friends. And it's going to be about dinosaurs. Are you excited, everyone, for the dinosaurs?